when the narcissist realizes their time is up. The narcissist needs supply, but every supply has an expiry date. It's only a matter of time until the supply loses its potency. If you are watching this video, you are the narcissist's source of supply. It can be difficult to tell when the narcissist has realized their time is up. It may seem like you're no longer relevant to them, but then they will pop up again when you least expect it. They drag you along for their own agenda because they need constant attention and validation. But when you no longer meet their needs, they will begin to show opposition to you. They will make you work very hard to meet their standards and they will be verbally abusive or even physically abusive to you. They will throw temper tantrums. They will act like they're in a difficult situation and they need your help to pull you back into the relationship. They will gaslight you. They will blame you for everything. They will discard you. They will start a smear campaign against you or they will completely ignore you. In some situations, they will come back to love bomb you. When the narcissist realizes their time is up, they will discard you. And they won't leave you with any closure. So that it then leaves the door open for them to return to you. But they only come back because of their anxiety or boredom. Or because they're lonely. They come back because they need your attention and validation. And as long as you give that to them, they will keep coming back. Even if it's negative attention. Because negative attention sometimes gratifies the narcissist. It makes them feel powerful and important. And then they will flip it on you. They will use it against you. When the narcissist discards you, it may seem like they have realized their time is up, but then they come back with a hoover. They may try to pull you back in, even if they have a new supply. They will get bored, just as they got bored of you. The only definitive way to know that the narcissist has realized their time is up is when you decide to no longer let them back into your life. Because it's very rare that a narcissist will permanently leave their victim. They always find a reason to come back, even when it may seem that they have moved on to someone else because they still want power and control over you. They still want to know that you want them, which is why they will keep coming back to you, even after months or years of no contact, because they want to pull you back into their world of drama and chaos, so that they can feel powerful and important, so that they can feel superior. which is what keeps them coming back again and again. They live in a fantasy world and they depend on people to support their fantasy. When they feel like their fantasy is liable to collapse, they will do whatever it takes to restore it. When the narcissist realizes their time is up, 
when they realize they can no longer control you, that is when they lose most of their power. Because at that point you just see them as a fraud. They become a laughing stock because they're pretending to be so important and serious. But you know it's all a joke because they're heavily dependent on you for their own survival. Which is why they often act disinterested. Which is why they get angry so easily. Because they're trying to hide their own insecurities. They use manipulation tactics to keep you engaged. They make you feel hopeless. As if the situation is impossible to deal with. They lead you into having a great need or desire for something. They make you reliant on them for support and survival. While they're constantly betraying you. They know how to dial up certain emotions in you. They can make you feel guilty or ashamed. Or they can make you feel honored and loved. But it's all fake. Because they have a history of emotionally abusing you and manipulating you. They just don't want you to realize your own self-worth. They don't want you to realize that you could do better. That's why they insult you. That's why they put you down. That's why they minimize your accomplishments and sabotage your success. Because they can't deal with the thought of you living a life without them. They see you as an object that exists to serve them. And they want you to see yourself the same way. They're very miserable people. They're never satisfied with anything. And that is why they have to abuse you. Because that's what fills that void. And the more you give them supply, the more they will rely on you for that. But that doesn't mean they're committed to you. They just know that most people wouldn't put up with them. But eventually, they realize their time is up. And they leave you without any closure. Because they don't know how to end a relationship. But they will pretend like they never needed you anyway. They will act like you don't exist. Or they will start a smear campaign against you. But the truth is they needed you more than you needed them, which is demonstrated by their inability to give you closure. They only need you so that they can abuse you because they know they can't do that with other people. They know that other people wouldn't tolerate it. If you are with a narcissist, Try not to worry too much about when their time is up. You need to decide that you are done with them. Instead of hoping that they're going to change. They have a mental disorder. And they have no interest in changing anything. Because they're quite comfortable with how things are. Thank you for watching. 
I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coachingandarcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.